you can't replace cage time, though, Mike, and Patrick Reeves has oh, been to the dance before. That was a great combination. Kick to the body, punch to the head, and that rock pair swing just a little bit. I want to say uh, thanks to uh, Ultimate Comeback experience here in Salt Lake City, Utah. That kind of sport, you know, you watch it on TV and things like that, and, you know, you're sitting on your couch, you're sitting, you know, very comfortably, you know, especially if I, I used to be a gym rat. I used to go to the gym lift iron, I mean, just working out constantly. So it's just one of the kind of sports very competitively that you could say, hey, I know I could do that. So it kind of, it was kind of a dare with my friends at first. I actually took my first fight with very little training. And now that I lost my fight, I went to the distance. I knew I had the cardio. So it's it just kind of now I got to put my, myself in a good place where I can learn good techniques and take it, you know a step further. What I brought to my first fight was plainly very nice and simply. I mean, I would say it's just my, my drive, my spirit that I knew I could do this. I don't know how many deadlifts I was doing or push-up, which is a totally different thing. Fighting is a little more cardiovascular where all your muscles need to be doing something. You know, that's one of the things that kind of pissed me off. I knew I could do something, but it's just my body wasn't there technically, you know. I didn't have the muscle memories that I needed. I lost the fight, it turned me on, and I just wanted to learn and get better, you know? And I've been on both sides. I lost, I won. My most recently thing is that I went and did a tryouts in Chicago for the IFL, and I was able to get drafted. It's either Silverback or Tiger Shark. So if you guys see this, hopefully you guys will pick me. Your name got called. Obviously, they like what, what you were actually showing out there. And, and that's, I think, personally the main thing. Not necessarily your heart, your spirit. Everybody has that but it's the mechanics on how you use your body to execute those techniques. It's, it's very crucial. I mean, you want to survive so in the ring, definitely. Jab. I'm going to come back. As I jab, you're shooting. You duck under. Boom. He's going to take you down for a takedown right from him. Boom. When Harold first came to me, uh, he didn't really didn't have a notion of what he wanted to do. Once he got into it, once he put himself in into that, that role, he, he stepped up to the role and now, and, and now is becoming the, the guy he wants to be. Where Bernalis started to be uh, more like a personal friend before, I usually would start getting beat up for one of his students. You know, he was showing me kind of the stuff that he was learning. I met Will once and he's like, well, you know, come and check it out, this and that. I was kind of like the flaky guy at first, not giving him his monthly dues. Um, just, just very, not taking it very seriously. And uh, Will Bernalis is, uh, is coming from a, a good uh, lineage, you know, on the Thai boxing and also on the jiu-jitsu and everything else. It got me my attention. Once you believe it, you know, it's, you can achieve anything. And that's why I'm here. Harold started off as someone that really didn't train at all. So the respect thing for, for other fighters wasn't there. Um, and the discipline to uh, you know, stick with something and to go through the pain of the training, what it takes, wasn't there. So over the past few years, I've seen leaps and bounds as far as that discipline and respect um, help him through, through, through what he needs to go through to, to be in the IFL and to be a professional fighter. That's one of the main things that we focus on. We pay respect if it's Thai boxing, we bow if it's jiu-jitsu, and it, it kind of brings you, it kind of builds you from the inside out. I mean, you come here and there's guys using you as a rat dog and you know you're just learning you know we don't underestimate the ability of the other guy whether they're new or not you know we step in the mat we pay respect i'm going to bed and i'm paying respect i'm, I'm praying uh, i'm doing a lot of things you know i'm not here on my own i have a lot of family that are counting on me friends and you know every time i'm stepping in the ring it's my skills and my heart is put to the test and that's what i want to give every time the sky's the limit for me right now you know you guys better watch out there, man. I'm taking it very seriously. If there's guys out there that want to fight me, uh, best of luck to you, for reals.